solution for Jabba Man. Yes, Dr. Grime. Your nefarious forces of refuse have once again been overcome by those of good and cleanliness. For I, I am Pajama Man, man. Friend, friend of the, the good, good. Oh. Of evil! Pajama Man! Pajama Man! Gee, that was an exciting episode! Pajama Man is the greatest! Oh well, time to turn off the TV. Stay tuned for an important news flash. Pajama Man fans everywhere can meet Pajama Man in person. Today only, Pajama Man will be signing autographs at a shopping mall near you. Wow! I can go meet Pajama Man and get his autograph. Oh boy! Remember, we can meet Pajama Man and get his autograph. Mom, the TV said Pajama Man's at the mall and he's signing autographs, so we can go meet him. If you can drive, can we go? Can we go? Mom! Okay, calm down, Sam. I guess I have a few things I could get at the mall. Why don't you go up to your room and pick out something for your hero to sign? I'll make up my shopping list. Oh boy! Thanks, Mom! I know an autograph is just somebody writing their name. But if I'm gonna meet Pajama Man, I've gotta have just the right thing for him to sign. Ooh! And I know just what that is! Oops! I think I knocked over some stuff. I should probably put some of this stuff away. Maybe later. I want Pajama Man to sign my best comic book! My rare first issue of Pajama Man! Which is... Not here? Oh... No... My mint condition extra collectible Pajama Man issue number one is gone! My favorite comic book is missing! There it goes! Oh no! Something or someone pulled it down into that big pile of junk! I don't know what nefarious forces are at work here, but I gotta get my comic book back! This is a job for Pajama Sam! All I need is my cake. Oh boy. Hey there guys, I am the other Bellin and I am extremely disappointed in this game already. It's not the same voice actor as the three other games. And this is Pajama Sam 4. I can't remember the name. Uh, life is rough. That's not my cape. It's also extremely low in FPS. I have 10 FPS right now. Uh, while my limit it should be 24 FPS. FPS because that's what the uh, thing is uh, made for. Rats! This isn't my cape. Yeah, I'm sorry. <sighs> I found my cape! <laughs> now to go after my comic book! Beware you. evil doers and stealers of stuff! Here comes Pajama Sam! <laughs> Hello, little sock. My name's Sam. Hi, Sam. You sound sad. Is everything okay? Well, now that you mention it, no. What's wrong? Is it something I could help you with? It's a sad situation. I suppose the best way to explain it is this. A sock out on his own is like a sea without a shore. And cause I got some mud on me, I can't get in my drawer. A sock out on his own is just one out of a pair. 
I miss my matching sock so bad it fills me with despair. They say there's no place for me amongst the clean because I'm dirty. I know none of them can see inside. Having a little dirt on you is not such a bad thing, is it? Inside my heart is truly free from dirt and filth and food debris. But what good is a spotless heart when we are a pair? Together more than home. La, 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 la. They say there's no place for me who wants to clean because I'm dirty. I know none of them can see inside. Inside my heart is truly free from dirt and filth and food debris. But what good is a spotless heart when we're a pair? Now do you understand my position? I think so. You're sad because you can't be together with the other blue sock, because you're dirty and the other one's clean. Right. Now you're starting to think like a sock. We clothes get very sad when we're not in pairs. Hats don't come in pairs. That's why you never see a happy hat. Oh. Well, why don't you come along with me? Maybe I can help get you and the other sock back together. Do you really mean that? Pajama Sam is on the job. I'm missing something I care about very much, too. My Pajama Man comic book. I saw a comic book. An old half-eaten cheese sandwich came by here just a little bit ago carrying a comic. He said somebody named Dr. Grime was signing autographs at the Grubby Corners Mall, and he wanted this Dr. Grime to sign it. Oh my gosh! I have to find it! If Dr. Grime touches it, it'll be filthy forever! Come on, little sock! I have to find the Grubby Corners Mall! Let's hope this does not go I love musicals, but it wouldn't work in game. Hello. Hi. My name is Sam. Sam, will you be my friend? It's very lonely being the only sock without a companion. Sure, little sock. I'll be your friend. I'm going to try to find a way to get your matching sock clean so that you can get back together. Oh, that would be wonderful. Thank you so much. All in a day's work for a superhero. Hey, one of my Pajama Man trading cards. I'd better pick that up. Trading cards is exactly what they told me to gather. Ooh, a Pajama Man trading card! I'm not even gonna look at it. Um, it's so hard not enjoying this game. I know. There's a trading card! So fast, kid. Do you know the rules? What rules? Ignorance of the rules is no excuse. I'm gonna tell you the rules now. We have a strict dress code. No shirt, no shoes, no socks, no service. Are you hip to that? Hip? Hold it right there. Didn't you hear the rules? No shirt, no shoes, no socks, no service. Right? Right. Know what those rules mean? I think so. I can't go in unless I have lots of clothes. Right, boy. You know what to do. Okay, so I have to wear clothes. 
Oh, concern it. Blasted dust bunnies won't hold still long enough for me to catch them. Hello. Oh, howdy there. My name's Sam. They call me the Happy Farmer. Nice day, isn't it? I guess so. It's as nice as any other. And that's pretty darn nice in my book. Some days it rains. Them days is nice too. I have to put on my wrapper then, but rain is nice. Rain's good for my crops. What sort of crops do you grow? Spaghetti and breadsticks. I don't have much space, you see, but that's nice too. It doesn't take as long to plow the field. But lately I switched to raising these bunnies. They're so cute. What kind of bunnies are they? Well, them's dust bunnies. They're fun to raise and they raise me a nice profit. I'm supposed to be able to shave them once a week and sell their wool. That's if I can ever catch them. It would be nice to catch them. Here, bunny, bunny, bunny. Those bunnies are too timid to come near me. Little bunny. I guess they don't want to come over here. making yarn was going to be hard, but it looks easy. Wool goes in one end, and yarn comes out the other. It's as easy as falling off a log. More fun, too. Hey, look! Another trading card. That's part of the yarn making machine. The farmer needs that. over there. It hasn't melted yet. Woohoo guys, this is a really funny game. Ooh, a pajama man trading card. It's rough when you lose your stuff. Those are some big raisins. I don't like raisins. You sure are heavy. If these heavy raisins were on the eating end, I'll bet that whatever was on the other end of the spoon would go flying. Putting the raisins on the eating end would make the other end of the spoon flip up. If something were on the other end, I'll bet it would go flying. Gee, someone forgot to eat the last of their cereal. Whoa! Hey! Yeah, yeah, it's just like the first game. Whoa! The first game was a lot better, though. Whoa! Oh, look, it's a shirt. There's a trading card! You're not pajama, Sam. Hello, I'm Sam. Why, what a nice young man you are. I'm Grandma Sweater. I'm almost through with this copy of Knitting Weekly if you want to borrow it. No, thank you. I don't knit. You don't knit? Oh, that's a shame. In the good old days, everyone liked to knit. I wish I could knit, because I sure could use a shirt. Well, since I love to knit, I'd be glad to knit a shirt just for you if you bring me some yarn. I sure could use a shirt. Thanks a bunch. Any sort of yarn will do. Hey, look! Another trading card. Look, the last game was painstakingly... Last game had some painstakingly... Hello. 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 This game is... Sunday water. 
water can't get past this debris. Wow! Cool! Is that your crane? Well, I get to drive it, but they won't let me take it home at night. Oh. Yeah, the boss has a policy about not letting us borrow anything that can be used to knock down his house. What's this crane used for? Well, it's supposed to be used for clearing that junk over there. But one of the control levers got busted and lost. I can move the crane this way. And this way. But without the other lever, I can't pick up that stuff. And it's just piling up. I'll keep my eyes peeled for something we can use as a lever. Thanks a bunch. The sooner I get the crane fixed, the sooner I can go on my coffee break. I'd better start climbing. They call me the dresser climber. Hope mom doesn't catch me climbing on the furniture. Don't look down, Sam. I made it all the way to the top. That fishnet would be useful for catching any sort of critter smaller than me. It would be fun to get into that big water tank. I'd need to find a way to get over the glass though.
blasted dust bunnies won't hold still long enough for me to catch them. Well, I guess that's not going to work. Well, I'm gonna be honest, that was a little funny. Can the wool from those bunnies be turned into yarn, like for a shirt? Well, you got me there. I haven't even been able to get them their bunnies into the corral yet. Maybe someday I'll be able to give them a trim and make me some yarn. If I had a flute, would they follow the music? Nope. I hear tell that you can lasso them, though. All right, let's find rope. Even though there's technically rope all around. But you can't click it. Because that's how this can work. Let's find some rope. Oh, that's where the... stuck. Maybe I can yank it free. Oops. Well, at least I got half a yo-yo. Too bad it's not the half that spins. Oh well, I might as well save the string. It could come in handy at any time. I never know when I might be faced with the string emergency. Just shut your mouth and let me get on. There are so many peanuts in that bag. I bet nobody would notice if one was missing. Ah, oh, the peanut. The misunderstood nut. Sarn it. Blasted dust bunnies won't hold still long enough for me to catch them. I understand that it's a kid's game. <laughs> this is insulting. Yeehaw! I lasted you, bunny partner. Much obliged, Sam. And look at here. All the other bunnies are following. Wow, I must have lasted the main bunny. Yep, you done did good. Now let's get these bunnies ready for shaving. Oh, look. I captured the main bunny. <laughs> Dust bunny yarn for you. Thought you might like some yarn for helping me out with the bunnies. Thank you. Bye. See you never again. Hey, look! Another trading card. It's washing. No, it's a washing machine. Is it? 
Now that's just silly. <laughs> wow, is it ever dark in here? <laughs> that looks like a wad of funny putty. You can do all kinds of stuff with that. Sorry, Mr. Nutcracker. I thank you. It was hard to breathe under such goop. Hey, look. It made a copy of your face. I guess Funny Potty really can copy a picture of anything. So can a box of crayons in hands of an artist. Yeah, but crayons don't stretch. Point taken. I guess Funny Potty truly is toy with thousand uses. Hey there, Mr. Nutcracker. My name is Sam, and I have a nut that needs opening. Yes, comrade. I can open any nut. I have opened the nuts for all crowned heads of Europe. Here it is. Thank you much. Peanut is delicious. Here is leftover shell. I'd put it in my scrapbook if I had one. But I don't, so I'll just keep it in my pocket. I'm gonna assume you used that. Hi, my name's Sam. Hi, Sam. I'm Balsa. Did you hurt your wing? Yeah, I banged it up a while ago. It can't be fixed. Does that mean you can't fly anymore? Actually, I never could fly. Why not? Because I only cost 39 cents. Enter instead of escape. You used to press escape in the other games. Here's some yarn. It's bunny yarn. Oh, that's the best kind. It's soft and silky and it knits real fast. I'll knit a shirt just for you. Try it on. How? I guess I should have left at least one neck hole. Oh dear, this can't possibly fit you. But still, it's a very nice, um, shirt. I'm so sorry, young man. If only I had a pattern to work from, I know I could make you a fine shirt. I'll get you a pattern to work from. Does it have to be any particular kind of pattern? No, it has to show your specific size and shape. Of course. Those fireflies would be great to bring along to a dark place. I should probably find something to catch them in. The little fireflies go right through the net. I'll have to catch them with something else. That was quite apparent. Why does it climb up? I don't want to go up. I want to go down instead. Preparing to launch peanut boat. This is Pajama Sam, captain of SS Peanut, ready to sail. Aha! Bishop. Don Hat 
What kind of hat is that? They call it a mitre. I call it a nuisance. Once it fell off and poked me in the toe. But you don't have toes. Hello. What do you do? I'm a pawn. What does a pawn do? Mostly I just wait to get captured. That's a really interesting hat. All of us bishops have them. We get them at the big and tall hat store. I've never seen a hat that pointy before. Thank you. I try to stay sharp. Enough to poke holes even. Yeah, I'm gonna leave this place until they find That looks like a big slingshot. is your hat. The tip of that hat could poke through almost anything. Does this belong to you? Ah! <laughs> yeah, why, how did that get there? I say, thank thee, young man. Thanks a lot. Hello, my name is Sam. Just Sam? I'm Pajama Sam. Hmm. Members of the royal family do not associate with normal people like you. Her Royal Highness the Queen only talks to fellow royalty. And then only with an engraved invitation. What does that mean? It means you won't be talking to her. Oh. I don't think this melted ice cube is going to be of any use. Is that a cloud? This funny putty really stretches. Let's see if I can stretch it to be as tall as me. Wow! Now my funny putty looks like me. I don't think that I can scoop that up with the net. I don't want to. I don't think that I can scoop that up with the net. This melted ice cube is just not good. I don't want to get into trouble. I'm pretty sure that's not going to work. That's not meant to wash clothes in. No, I already tried to turn that off. He just said that the fire truck is cooler than his dad's red, uh, brown car. I have no clue what I'm doing right now. Hi! I used 
to be a balloon. Before I packed, do you have any balloon glue? I'm sorry. I've never heard of balloon glue. Oh. Hello. Um, do you know you've got plants all over you? Yes, I'm a beanbag doll. I'm full of beans. It's too bad that someone spilled water on me. Ew. Hi. What kind of toy are you? I'm a Bake Master 5000. Hey, my Aunt Beth got me a Bake Master 5000 once. I tried to cook a toasted cheese sandwich in it. I left it in there for days, and it never did cook. And I can't go through that thing without the fireflies, but I don't have anything to put the fireflies into. Yeah, this game is wonderful, guys. You're just I don't think that I can scoop that up with the net. I can't use that. Alright. I don't know what to do. I need to find some plants about my size and stuff. I'm sure I can use this jar for something. Never mind. <laughs> It has a lid and everything. Thank you for picking up litter. You're welcome. I would have removed that litter myself, but I have to stay here guarding the door. That's just a, a wrapper for a piece of candy. So I have a jar in which I can put fireflies. It wouldn't be nice to put the fireflies in my jar until I make some holes in the lid. They need holes so they can breathe. No, I need to uh, make some holes. In That's not something I can put in my. Yeah. That's not something I can. I can't. Fireflies would survive days, if not weeks, inside a pot without holes in the top. That's not something I can. Something I can. That's not some. Nope. Never did. I don't think they can hear you, by the way. She said that the microphone said that if the game doesn't allow you to come up with solutions yourself. It never actually did, but it just never been this bad.
Revolution might be completely different. Do you think you could poke holes in my jar lid now? <sighs> Certainly. Ow! My head! I think I'd better stop now. That's plenty of holes. Thank you, Mr. Bishop. Thank <laughs> you. 
My ice cube melted. Are you serious? My ice cube. My ice cube melted. I guess it's a shoe tree. <laughs> I wonder if they stay up there all the time. The net would work if they were just a little closer. I need some shoes. <clears throat> that wouldn't be very nice. I don't care if it's That's nice. the biggest shoehorn I've ever seen. I bet it's really, really loud. It's all clogged up. Ew, it's full of mold. No wonder it tastes funny. We need the sponge to eat the mold off the shoehorn so we can get some shoes. <laughs> How do I get the catapult to work? I have an ice cube. I have an ice cube. Well, I don't have an ice cube yet, so... Because the game didn't register it. Get on the slingshot. Capture. Here goes. I thought it would be something like this because that's usually Yippee! how games like this go. But... Yeah. Now. We... Sometimes cold gum is less sticky. That did it all right. Well, let's grab a from my stove. Yeah, I'm just gonna rush through this now because I like, honestly don't know if you bothered. <laughs> is about the same size as the oven lever. work and stuff. Thanks a bunch for fixing it. You're welcome. And you fixed it just in time for my coffee break. How'd you like to keep an eye on the crane for a few minutes? Like to? I'd love to! Well, in you go. Okay, gotta make the trash go away. I did it! This lake looks a lot prettier with water in it. It looks more useful, too. Hey, look! I found you the biggest washing machine you ever saw! Wow, that is big, and wet. 
and Soapy. Geronimo! That felt good. I'm glad you liked it. It was fun to watch, too. I haven't been this clean since, well, I don't know when. I'll try not to get you dirty before I get you back with your friend. Hi, Sponge. Hope you can find a way to get me out of here soon. I just can't wait for that sweet, tasty mold. I don't think that's going to work. I don't think that I can scoop that up with the net. Shiny, too. Hey, there's a sponge. You sure look squishy. Yeah, no. That's because I'm a sponge. That's what I thought. You're a bright boy. Wow. How are you down there, sponge? Hungry. Have you found a way to get me out of here to go with you? No, not yet. cheese sandwich. This is fun. I know where there's a big bunch of mold just for you. Oh boy, mold. Come and get me, Sam. Bonjour, petit pajama person. I am Jacques Scuba, the famous underwater explorer. Aren't you getting soggy in there? This waterproof suit and me big helmet are keeping me high and dry. I am dry as a bone. Can you dive all the way to the bottom of the fish tank? There are not many other places I can go dressed like this. But in the fish tank, I am the well-dressed man about town. That makes sense. In a way. Exploring the underwater kingdom is my passion. I am married to the sea. I have no idea what you mean by that. But I think your big helmet's cool. Oui, it is the latest fashion in diver helmets. The suit is quite nice as well. Do you know Sponge? Oui. Sometimes this sponge will clean the mold off of the glass on my helmet. The sponge loves the mold. That is good because I do not like the mold. Do you think you could bring sponge to me? I know a certain place where there's plenty of mold for it. We. Oui, it would be my pleasure. Oh boy, mold, here I come.
Here is the sponge. Thanks a bunch, Mr. Scubo. You're welcome. I am here whenever you want to hear of the beauty of the incredibly odd sparring underwater kingdom. We should be able to finish this game up in five minutes or so now. No, it should be completely possible. Yeah. I think I found a pattern. Will this do? That's quite a pattern you've got there. It's every bit as handsome as you. Aw, oh, gee, thanks. Thank you for bringing me such an excellent pattern. One shirt coming right up. Do you like it? It looks just great. Thanks for the compliment. I like your looks too. Oh, it likes you. You're a perfect fit for me, and vice versa. Gosh, thanks a bunch, Grandma. You're welcome, young man. You look pretty comfy in your jammies right now, Sam. Why don't you just hold on to me for later? Sounds good. All right, we now have a sentient shirt, one sentient sock, and one way of getting sentient shoes. Just bring out the, the clean sock to his friend and he'll be happy. Charging battery. Hello, my matching sock. I'm home. I'm so glad you're here. Are you clean enough to come in? Clean as a whistle. Hooray! Sam, thanks a million for cleaning me. And thanks two million for bringing my best friend back. Sam, you're a great friend. Yes, Sam, you're a great friend. Thanks. Would you two like to go exploring with me? Well, okay, as long as we don't have to do any walking. And I haven't been out of that drawer in ages. Then hop into my pocket and we'll be off. I'll bet that mall guard will be happy to see you. You can count on us for help if you ever need a clean pair of socks. All right, socks, shirt, shoes in a minute. Banana pan. I don't care about you anymore. Oh, wrong way again. Where's the mold? There? There! There's mold in that shoehorn! Delicious! Where's the mold? Wow! Did you eat all that mold? All of it! Mold all gone! Mold all gone! Yeah, yeah, yeah! I can't believe I ate the whole thing! I think I better go lie down now. I can't believe how much you sound like mold. Thank you. I'm glad the sponge liked the taste of mold, because I sure don't. Yeah, no, no, no. I can see my reflection. I guess it's clean enough now. Yeah, just blow the flipping thing. <sighs> I'm glad this net has a long handle. 
they like me. I think I'll keep them. The mall guard will want to see these. Now we have everything. Now we can finally finish this game up. Yeah, this game has been really boring so far. Of course, it doesn't feel like a game. Not so fast. Hold it right there, Buster. Yes? I want to see your shirt. Hello! And shoes. And you better have socks, too. Hello, officer. Howdy, officer. Hmm. Shirt, shoes, socks. Well, kid, it looks like you're in total compliance with our dress code. You're a good citizen. Enjoy your shopping experience. Yes, sir. Are we there yet? We're here! Inside the Grubby Corners Mall! Hooray! It's shopping time! I can shop for a lint brush! Thanks for the lift, Sam. We're off to shop. See you later! Bye! Excuse me, do you mind if I cut in ahead of you? No way! I've been waiting all day to see Dr. Grime and I ain't giving up my place for nobody! Why do you want to see Dr. Grime? Cause, you know, he's Dr. Grime! He's the grimiest! Oh. Dr. Grime? Yeah, it is, but they only go to the special lucky prize winners. How do I win one? Oh, you'll know when it happens. Congratulations, sir. You are our lucky 30th customer. Yay! What do I win? You win this fantastical special prize winner pass. Oh boy! Just what I wanted. It is a great honor to win this prize. It is printed on durable paper and is sure to bring you hours of fun for years to come. Enjoy your special prize winner pass. Well, why didn't you say you had a special prize winner pass? You're special, and you're a prize winner, so you can pass. Please go to the head of the line immediately. Hey, look! It's Dr. Grime! Huh? What? Where? Look! It's Dr. Grime! 
Dr. Grime, will you shine my hanky? Will you shine my underwear? I'm not Dr. Grime. I'm Pajama Sam. Hey, keep that line straight. Dr. Grime. Dr. Grime. I said I'm not Dr. Grime. Hey, no touching. Dr. Grime. Yikes. Ow. There it is! Issue number one, I found you at last! Holy cow! How did I get so dirty today? I'm as dirty as Dr. Grime! Maybe dirtier! No wonder those kids thought I was him! I need to clean myself up. I can't get past those kids while I look like Dr. Grime. Also, I don't want to handle my comic book while I'm all dirty, or it'll get all dirty. I wonder if there's anything I can wash with here. This room doesn't have a sink. It looks like the only way I could get some water is from that fire sprinkler up there. I bet if I could get that sprinkler to turn on, it would wash me right off. This should keep Pajama Man number one from getting wet. Who's there? I'm your friendly local humans and squeezes delivery person. Does Dr. Grime want anything? Not right now, thank you. Okay, I'll just leave this menu in case you change your mind. This isn't a very fancy menu. I can only order four different things. Cold string beans? Frozen eggs? Iced bacon? Or hot cocoa? One humongous hot cocoa, please. Who is it? Your favorite leave-ins and squeezes delivery person with your order. Thank you. Enjoy your fine food with our compliments. You have excellent taste. Have a nice day, sir. This hot cocoa lives up to its name. It's really hot. In fact, it's too hot to drink right now. Oh no, too hot to drink. It's heresy. Hey! Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't be doing this. And I certainly wouldn't advise any of my friends to do this. I hope this is hot enough. Yay! I'm clean! Now I can get my comic book. What's this? Water is falling from the sky. It feels so good to be clean. Hey, no splash. Dr. Grime? Who are you? I am the squeaky clean hero, Pajama Sam. Today, I came dangerously close to turning dirty. But from today on, I shall fight the forces of dirt and strive for cleanliness in all that I do. Kid, you're a good citizen. Well, I learned one thing. From now on, I'm going to keep my room more picked up so I won't. Would you like to restart the game? Uh, very